Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the shiny only fire model type run of Fire Red Canto Complete. Last time, we went through Rock Tunnel, made it to Celadon City, getting a whole bunch of good stuff in the process. Oh. Also, off camera, I bought a TM for Overheat from the department store, given to Sparog here. Since he's mostly a physical attacker, I figured that the special attack drop isn't really going to be that big of a deal. It's just there in case I need it. Anyways, this time, we're going to be taking on the gym and the Team Rocket hideout. Okay, what do you say, Master Roshi? Only real ladies, huh? Well... I'm afraid I have some bad news. Alright, let's let's switch off actually, because I have a feeling Sparg is gonna see a lot more use at the Pokemon Tower. Dip our grass, bitch. Yeah, this gym is basically gonna be a freebie. Or at least I'm pretty sure it will. Although, knowing how this hack is set up, I wouldn't be shocked if Erica has a Ludicolo just to fuck with anyone and thought, oh, I could use fire types and cheese this. Be like, oh, really smart ass, watch this. But the thing is, I've also got Aerial Ace, so. I'm not limited to just fire type attacks. Oh, and I gave the other shell bill I found last time to Pele. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we are gonna go with Cyclone first. Just to take out the uh, regular trainers. Oh! He's cosplaying as the Team Mako admin. But Shelly, specifically. Interesting. What are you gonna look like? Oh, just beauty. Now there's a switch play little up there. Alright. Now swap to you. Actually, hold on. Nah, we'll stick we'll use you in the rocket eye out. Okay, I'm on a clock now. Oh, you're also using bug types. Well, as I suspected, that was basically a freebie. And that should be TM Giga Drain, yeah. I don't know if I, I don't think any of my Pokemon could use it, but whatever. Oh right. I could have just gone around this way. I don't need to use cut. Well that's one quality of life improvement I like. Also, wait, what was that guy doing out there? Oh yeah, this is the guy who tells you about the Silsco. Well, we can take care of that right now. Actually, you know what? Let's go get uh, Houndoom real quick. I'm gonna put you away because we're gonna get use out of you with the Pokemon Tower. Mm. 
There we go. Oh yeah, by the way, there's several traders people here that will give you several free coins if you have the coin case. So that, those two give you 20. Oh, by this is the, uh, yo champ in the making, dude. And I think this guy gives you 10. Yeah. So that's 50 free coins. As a matter of fact, while we're at it, let's go check out the prize counter, see if that changes at all. Okay, so that's about the same. This is about the same as well. Frankly, I don't see the point considering I just buy that for cash. It's much cheaper. And then you have a bunch of these items here. Actually, a charcoal might be worth it. We'll see. Hey, asshole! Not the sharpest knife in the drawer, is he? So now... We're just gonna... Kick everyone's ass. Because of course, you can only fight these guys until the Rocket Hilo is cleared out. And then they all go away. Nah, I don't need to sleep for that. I know, I'm extremely over-leveled, but, well, ends the brakes. Stop wasting my time, bitch. Surrender? What are you, French? And, wait, what was that? Eh, whatever, does it really matter? that real quick. Alright, now let's move. Okay, so yeah, first we have these floor puzzles. Which are fairly easy once you know they work. But it'll take you a few times to go around if you want to get all the items. Waterstone. I'm probably never going to use that unless it's just to boost the number of Pokemon I own. I'll hold on to that for now. In case I need to. Of course, you go down here and meet this guy. Or else what? Usually there's an or so usually there's an or else when you make that kind of threat. So tell me, exactly what are you planning to do? Because I guarantee you, anything you can do, I could do a hell of a lot worse. Yeah, and if you don't mind your mouth, I'll do a hell of a lot worse than that. Nest Ball. So that just catches Pokemon that are weaker than yours. Level-wise. Luxury Ball. That's a pretty rare Pokeball. You don't find that very often. Just makes Pokemon more friendly if you catch it with them. Solar Beam TM. Who has the lift key? You do, doofus! Although, let's be honest. I have to wonder. You know what they say, never attribute to malice what you could just as easily explain with stupidity? 
there's a point where you have to wonder, was that guy a narc? Is he working for the cops? It wouldn't shock me. Okay, so... Go up here. Fluffy tail. That just it basically lets you retreat from battle. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, Everstone. I'll need to go and pick up something at the department store before we leave. Actually, no, I'll just explain it now, because I don't know if I'll ever use it. So, there's a trainer... Oh, well, not a trainer, just a girl. A copycat. It's Apron City. You bring her a polka doll, and she will teach one of your Pokemon Mimic. In Generation 1, she just gave you the TM for Mimic. PowerPoint Max, good shit. Hmm, in fact, let's, let's take a look. What are we going to use it on? Hmm, decisions, decisions... Okay, no. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Well. Oh well. I can get more PowerPoint ups anyway. Pick up. It'll take a while, but I can do it. Now, there's a couple more trainers up here. Alright. Oh, fuck off! Fuck you, you son of a bitch! Yeah, nice try with Fake Out. God, I hate bastards like that. That would have been cheap. Oh, yeah, you can give that Poké Doll to uh, the copycat. Anyways, let's go into the elevator, shall we? Now we're here. Uh, I guess it's not a total loss. It means that Fire Punch is going to have a fuck ton of power points, because... I mean, I guess that is the one benefit, is it has more power points than... Actually, no, I think it's the same amount that Flamethrower does. Eh, uh, well. Sucks to be me, I guess. Oh, Giovanni? Oh, he actually has a team that's more appropriate for, you know, the ground type gym leader, I guess. More than vanilla. And we get the self cuss. Oh, so, uh, yeah. Now we go this way. Uh, we'll take care of the poison later. And there's this last guy right here. And now we just go this way. And back out the way we came in. Oh, and by the way, uh, yeah, you can't actually talk to the copycat yet. Uh, that has to wait until after you clear out the Silk Company. I believe she's either in there or... Actually, it would make more sense for her to live here. If I recall correctly... Yeah, that's where the Magnet Train Station gets built, and, well... Canonically, they used to live where the station was. In Gen 2. Okay. Oh, and by the way, 
Um, yeah, I was able to get a bunch more power point ups, just farming pickup. And I got a flamethrower TM, because that just really annoyed me what I did. Anyway, moving on. Anyways, I figured, um, well, I got, like, what, maybe 15 minutes of content report, if that. I think we can go a bit longer. We'll take care of the Pokemon Tower as well. Die tree. Hang on, did I ever go back here and see what was... I mean, there has to be a way to get back there. This wasn't. Whatever. Okay, so now let's go back to where we... Moving past where we fought Blue before... Of course, that chick will warn you, Oh, this place is haunted! The, uh, channelers up here are... Uh, possessed. Yeah, uh, I should note that the sprite in the Japanese version, they don't have any pupils because they're possessed. Also, I believe they were called mediums originally? Hmm, that's cool. Okay. Stone. Cursed. The fact you're using an unknown is what's cursed. Lemonade. Pretty decent healing item. Why do I have this up here? Whatever. Oh, right, right. Flash fire. Okay. What? What'd you pick up? Oh, that's cheeky. Yeah. Too bad. I know it's overkill, I just felt like flexing. Especially because I could just walk right into here and heal instantly. You get a hard stone, which boosts your rock type attacks. Zombies! This ain't that kind of game, lady. I wonder... If I had taken a step further before she saw me, would I have gotten trapped in there? That would have been evil. I mean, that kind of thing could happen all the time back in Gen 1. There's a particularly infamous trainer in the... the burglar, I think, in the Pokemon Mansion that would trap you. And the only way to get out was to, if you didn't have an escape rope or something like that, you would have to just keep battling until your Pokemon were all knocked out and you were sent back to the Pokemon Center. Uh-huh, okay. Fuck off, Sableye! That was ridiculous. Fuck you, bitch! Anyways, moving on. Ooh! Tiny Ghastly. Hmm. Okay.
Yeah, that's the interesting thing about the Gen 1 Pokedex entries, is occasionally they make references to real-world animals. What am I gonna call ya? Xenon. Of course, because it's gas, it's blue. Xenon gas being noble gas, give it electrical charge, it glows with blue light. Sacred Ash. That for that's a one use sign that basically just heals your entire party, and we're just gonna save right here. Oh, by the way, uh, that timer thing—that's just because using speed up causes that to go way up. Ignore that. So, uh, yeah, give me a sec. The reason I saved is well, just in case something interesting happens during the Ghost Marowak encounter. Oh, it's not shiny this time. Uh, for those of you wondering what I'm talking about, look back at episode 6, I think it was. Yeah, 6. That was when I brought it up. Bye. But yeah, back at episode 6, I showed off a picture of the time I did a Dark Monotype run of Fire Red Throwback, and the Ghost Marowak was shiny. Yeah. You know you can make more money off of them by keeping them alive, right? You see, this is why you're criminals and not in legitimate business. It's because you're so impulsive and shit at making and understanding how to make a profit that you can't think about the long term. Sometimes you gotta turn down a quick payday to make more money in the long run. Fuck you, I do what I want. <laughs> oh, I think I I think I am, mister. In fact, I just did. Uh-huh. Well, that's taken care of. Talk to this guy. And you get the Poke Flute, which you need to wake up Snorlax. Anyways, I think this is a good time to stop this time. Uh, like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will see you all next time.